this video we are going to study h plane t and scattering matrix hello i am bhageshri thora and welcome to my channel pinnacle okay in h plane t or h plane junction what is a junction junction is nothing but a point where we are connecting more than three ports so in a h junction more than three ports port 1 is port 2 and port 3 they are connected to this point okay so this is nothing but your plane of summary this is your plane of summary now this is h arm so this is a simple rectangular wave guide and another wave guide is attached to this because of that ht plane is formed and it is also called shanti the axis of side arm is parallel to magnetic field this junction is called t junction it is also called current junction why because the magnetic field is divided into arms because if Three is my input. Then my magnetic field is divided into port one and port two. This is the cross-sectional details of H plane. This is your H plane actual. So when power enters from port three, it is divided equally and in phase. Remember that power is divided equally and in phase. So this is power flow diagram. these are the collinear arms port 1 and this is port 2 these are the collinear arm okay now this is your h arm and power is divided in phase if my port 1 and port 2 is a input that means if port 1 and port 2 is a input then power we are receiving at port 3 is addition of these two okay so this is the power distribution table for h plane t in the table we are seeing when input is applied at port 3 then the power is divided into port 1 and port 2 okay and it is equal means power at port 1 is equal to power at port 2 when we applied input power and port 1 and port 2 then the power is combined and it is a addition of at port 3 and this power is in phase so we can add it as a addition when we want to add the powers different two powers then we can use h plane t now this is ideal h plane t generalized scattering matrix so we know that for h plane t there are three input ports and three output ports so 3 by 3 matrix is a possible with three inputs and three outputs so matrix is s11 s12 s13 s21 s22 s23 s31 s32 s33 so this is a generalized equation for scattering matrix of h plane t now we want to find the value of s11 s12 s13 till s33 as we already explained when the power at input power at port 3 then s13 and s23 means the both power are equal so that's why s13 and s23 are equal as the junction is symmetrical in plane okay so this is s13 and this is s23 so both are equal and the port is perfectly matched to junction 3 because it is a ideal h plane t so there is no loss that's why s33 is a zero means if there is no loss there is no back reflection the value is zero okay so s33 means if we applied power to third as a input then 
I am not getting anything as output. That's why S33 is 0. So, from the symmetric property, Sij is equal to Sji. We know this is a symmetric property and we are applying in all my scattering matrix. So, S12 is equal to S21. Similarly, S23 is equal to S32. S13 is equal to S31. So, this is my equation 4. Now, here we know that there are 4 unknowns. Why 4 unknowns? Because if you observe that uh, scattering matrix, S11, this is the first one. S12, this is the second. S13, third. S22 is a fourth. So, there are only 4 unknowns in my equation. Those are remaining. And if we find the unknowns, then we are considering the symmetric property and from unitary property, that means one diagonally 1, 1, 1, remaining values are 0. When we multiply the any matrix with its complex conjugate, the answer is a unitary matrix. This is a basic fundamental. So, that's why we are multiplying scattering matrix of H plane T to complex conjugate of scattering matrix H plane T it is nothing but your unitary matrix. Okay. Now we want to find the four unknowns. That's why first we are going to multiply row 1 to column 1. So row 1 to column 1. Okay. So we are multiplying that and what is the answer? We are going to check. So this is S11, S11 complex conjugate plus S12. S12 complex conjugate plus S13 multiplied by S13 complex conjugate and the answer of this is a 1 is equal to 1. Okay. Similarly, if we simplify this equation, then we know that the any number multiplied by its complex conjugate, then answer is magnitude of that number. And it is a square. So S11 square amplitude of S12 square plus S13 magnitude square is equal to 1. So this is first we are getting simplified equation from multiplying R1 and C1. Then similarly I am multiplying R2 and C2. We are getting I am directly note down the answer. You have to follow all steps. So, this is nothing but S12 magnitude is there. Then S22 and S13. Again, it is equal to 1. Okay. Because this is 1. Now, third, we are going to multiply R3 row third with column third. So, this is after multiplication there is a zero. So, that's why we are getting S13 square and the second term is also S13 here plus S13 square is equal to 1. Okay. So, that's why it is 2 S13 square is equal to 1 or S13 is equal to 1 divided by under root of 2. So, this is my answer for S13 I am getting. Okay. Now, last we, are, we have to multiply row 3rd to column 1. So, row 3rd to column 1. So, we are going to multiply row 3rd with column 1 and I am getting answer that S13, S11 complex conjugate okay, plus S13 into S12 complex conjugate is equal to 0. Okay. So, now by multiplying row 3 column 1 okay we are getting 
एस वन थ्री एस वन वन कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्जुकेट प्लस एस वन टू कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्जुकेट इज इक्वल टू जीरो सिंस वी नो दैट एस वन थ्री कांट बिकेम जीरो सो दैट्स वाई वी कैन एज्यूम एस वन वन कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्जुकेट प्लस एस वन टू कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्जुकेट इज इक्वल टू जीरो और when this condition going to arise when s11 complex conjugate is equal to s12 complex conjugate are equal and one is opposite in phase so that's why s11 complex conjugate is equal to minus s12 complex conjugate okay or s11 is equal to minus s12 or minus or plus s12 is equal to minus s11 so this is a value we are getting for s11 and s12 so use this values in equation that we are getting by multiplying r1 and c1 so now we are getting putting the values of s11 into our first r1 uh, row 1 multiplied by column 1 then we are getting s11 square plus s12 square plus s13 square is equal to 1 so i am going to put the values in this equation so we are getting s11 square plus s11 square now this is only magnitude so phase is not going to apply here plus s13 is a 1 divided by under root of 2 square so that's why your equation becomes 2 s11 square plus 1 divided by 2 cos it is square is equal to 1 or 2 s11 square is equal to 1 divided by 2 or s11 is equal to 1 divided by 2 now we know that that s11 is 1 divided by 2 s12 is minus 1 divided by 2 Okay. and s22 that we already found that it is 1 divided by 2 so when substituting these values in s matrix we are getting s11 1 divided by 2 s12 minus 1 divided by 2 s13 1 divided by under root of 2 okay similarly s21 and s12 are equal so that by this both values are equal then s22 is 1 divided by 2 now s23 is 1 divided by under root of 2 this is s31 okay s32 and s33 it is a zero because it is perfectly match okay now b1 b2 b3 those are the output powers Okay, this is your scattering matrix for H plane T, and A one, A two, A three is input power. So I am getting this equation for H plane T. Thank you for listening this video. If you want to find the E plane T. matrix then the video is already published in my youtube channel pinnacle if you like this lecture then hit the like button and please subscribe my channel thank you